Vacant buildings, while it's an issue many communities are dealing with, over the last two years, Salem has been seeing that problem start to go away. Their downtown is almost full. First News reporter Jacob Thompson spoke to the mayor about how they are fixing this issue. Downtown Salem has 119 buildings, both retail and commercial. This spans between 2nd Street, State Street, and just south of Pershing Avenue. Over two years ago, the city was coming together with a plan to fill buildings that were vacant. One of the things that we initiated at that time was that vacant structure ordinance. So you have to register if your place is vacant um, and pay a fine to have that monitored so that the buildings aren't just left to deteriorate to be sure they were maintained. After that, buildings either went up for sale or were filled. But the fine was just one of many reasons causing vacancies to fill up. One is we still have that 1% income tax, which is one of the lowest in the state. We have the water and sewer and infrastructure, which our rates are the lowest in the state, is one of the lowest in the state. Along with updated construction in the downtown area, they've added new businesses and now two years later. We actually have between 88 and 94 percent filled. If you say actual vacancies, things that aren't having any activity at all. It's 94 percent. The 88 percent would include buildings that are under renovation and have leases intact. Mayor Dickey says this could set up the city for the future. So we want to see that it, all those vacancies filled. We would like to be at 100 percent. No doubt about it. I think it's achievable right now with the things that are going on. In Salem, Jacob Thompson, WKBN 27 First News. Hi, everyone. I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.